So, it's a day off for us. We stayed at Super 8 last night. Uh, checked out this morning because we're going to a different hotel for a couple of nights. Um, got up this morning, had a great breakfast. Drove up to uh, Mill Star Overlook. Uh, this is downtown Rona. This is what we're looking at right now. And then they have this star lights up at night. But it's been here since they put it up in the 40s, 50s, and um, it's the mill star. So we drove up here. We drove on the parkway for a little bit. Um, just kind of taking it easy. We feel our bodies are repairing. We've only got 22 miles left on the trail to finish up this section that we're doing. So we're just going to try to get a little stronger and finish that up in two days. So um, but yeah, we're just going to take a couple of days off, rest, and explore around Rona. the plan evolves as we travel. Um, found a little disc golf course. Brent's gonna toss a little pie stick. So we're getting ready and I'll walk the course with him just to give us a little exercise today. So yeah it looks like a pretty course is open which is nice because it's a real sunny day but the wind's blowing so it's feels good out here. Anyway having a good day as always Right, it's November 1st and uh, it's very chilly today. It's in the 30s with the wind blowing and uh, our plan is to do a four mile section that'll just close up a little gap for us and we'll walk to our truck, which we're in right now waiting at the 311 trailhead, Highway 311 trailhead for our shuttle driver to run us back around to 785, Virginia 785 where we can uh, hike the four miles back to our truck. Then tomorrow we will start from here and go the rest of the 20 miles. So, all right, he just pulled up. So we'll check in in a bit. All right, we just got dropped off at the trail crossing where we got picked up a couple of days ago. Mr. Homer uh, dropped us off. He's an O2 through hiker who did it when he was 60. He's now 81 years old. So, uh, neat guy. He's very involved in the AT here in the Roanoke area. So, super guy, really interesting character. Um, so anyway, we're, we're about to head north for four miles back to where we were in the truck at the 311 trailhead. So it'll probably takes three, three and a half hours at most. Um, so the trail cuts across this pasture to start with. We're bundled up a little bit because it's going to be chilly. That's why we didn't want to do uh, uh, overnight tonight. It's supposed to warm up a little bit tomorrow, and then the next day is even warmer. So 
Um, we're uh, feeling good. It's not too bad right here, but get in the woods, it'll even be better. So we're uh, about to start off on this uh, mile slide pack and uh, knock this little piece out. That way we don't have it to do tomorrow and the next day. So we'll have about 20 left so we can do two tens. Spend one night out and finish up with 260 total miles. Damascus to Daleville, basically going through the Triple Crown. That pretty much finishes up what they call Southern Virginia. So that'll be a nice milestone. All right, we're gonna start hiking before we get cold standing here, but the sun does feel good. And we'll check in later. that pasture on the other side of there's where he dropped us off came across this bridge Bob Creek I think I'm positive but I think that's what it is now we fall along the edge of the creek and uh probably have to climb soon which won't be a bad thing this morning it's kind of chilly and warm us right up Yeah, what makes it kind of chilly is the wind's blowing today. It's supposed to calm down to light and variable tomorrow. So uh, that's going to be real helpful. All right, we'll check in in a bit. All right, we just made it up to the tree line. We are about started about 20 minutes ago. It's far away over there. Path on that tree line past that far pasture. That's where the road goes through. So we walked across that one, went into the woods a little bit, popped into this pasture and came up this steep hill. That's uh, now going into the woods, still going up. We're warmed up a little bit now. 20 minute power walk across that pasture will do it uphill. All right, so we're off like a herd of cold turtles. All right, we're a little over a mile in. And we're up on this ridge. Looks like we're gonna be going back down. Whew. Wind. Wind chill this morning's like 22. So, up here on this ridge, it's really, really cold. Okay, we're gonna be able to put this down. All right, we're about a mile and a half in, and uh, we've been walking right on top of another rocky ridge line, just like a lot of Virginia has been. But uh, we're right now out of the wind, just down below this little knoll here. And uh, does it feel a lot warmer where the wind's not blowing? Man, it is really cold. It's into the 20s, uh, low 20s of the wind chill. And, uh, we're probably up at around 3,000 feet, I guess, on this ridge line. So the wind can get open and really get going here, but we're taking a little break in this uh, lull spot right here. You can see all the wind blowing around us. But for some reason, right where we're standing, we're blocked by this little, little knoll behind us. So it feels lots warmer. We've worked up a We've been moving the whole time. We haven't stopped much. I haven't been doing much video because the wind's so bad and then the leaves are, are piled up thick. And yeah, it's like snow drift. You can't see the ground. So anyway, we're making pretty good time not resting much today and uh, keeping it moving. We've only got about 2.7 miles to get to the truck. So it's gonna be a short and sweet day. Woo! Yep. All right, we're off again. We'll check in. in a
man. It's died back just a little bit, but it's still blowing. So uh, a little bit warmer. Not bad while you're walking. But uh, leaves cover the trail up. Covers all the trip hazards. Watch out for that kind of stuff. than a mile from the truck walking through these giant boulders and a uh, pretty neat little spot looks like somebody had a fire right here right up in here against this rock so it blocked the wind but it charred the rock Anyway, let's keep 
moving and see where we end up. Boy, I'm glad we're out of that. That was coming downhill and the leaves were so piled up. It's like I was over my knees. So you couldn't see where you're putting your foot. And it was, I had to go slow and it was straight downhill. But I slipped and fell. Well, I just kind of slid twice. Brent did once, but hopefully we don't have any more of that, but we're pretty close to the truck now, so, yeah. So we are back to the parking lot. We can see it right ahead of us. So we did that really quickly, two hours. So we started at 10, 15, it's 12, 45, two and a half hours, 4.2 miles. Uh, the only thing that slowed us down was the, the leaves on the trail made it uh, hard to see where you're putting your feet and you step on a root or a rock and I, I hadn't fallen the whole trip 240 miles without falling but I fell in those leaves so anyway it didn't hurt myself too bad I don't think but uh, here's the parking lot where we left our truck a couple of hours ago so we went ahead and knocked out that 4.2 mile section between these two two roads. So tomorrow we'll start up. Uh, I think we'll only have four miles to get to McAfee Knob. And it will be a Thursday, which is not a weekend. Because weekends, those places get really crowded, the Triple Crown area here. So a lot of people park here and day hike to the McAfee Knob. So we're trying to avoid the weekend by getting uh, getting started tomorrow on Thursday. We hope to, that'll be 20 miles through there. There's no real roads to uh, get off on to make it shorter. So uh, we'll go through there with our uh, full backpacks and uh, we can spend one night we think and get through there on uh, finish up on Friday evening and uh, that'll be a wrap so we're uh, back early not one o'clock yet it's about 10 till and uh, we'll probably just go right on and get something to eat 
for lunch. So we'll check in with you guys later.